go to there. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's do a little, I'm gonna do more lower back and hips today to help care at AC and struggling with their back pain. So we are gonna start extending like shoulder wise apart. And we are gonna warm up for back first. We are gonna bend the knees, touch the floor, and roll one vertebra at a time. Inhale in. Exhale, bend your knees. Chin in. Roll one vertebra at a time. Very gentle to warm up. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale, bend forward. Bring your chin in. Roll up. Okay, now let's add. Oops, someone is there. Let's add. And inhale, bring your chin up, reach up and tilt very gently back. Exhale, get to neutral, bend your knees, roll one vertebra at a time. Again, inhale, reach up, exhale, lean back gently, go back to neutral, bend the knees, one, bring chin in, roll up slow. Okay, now you're gonna go ahead and place your right leg forward. Your left leg is gonna go back. And you're gonna roll, starting to the back leg. So we are gonna start to our left side, okay? You're gonna inhale and reach to your left as far as you can. Exhale, reach to your side and come up. Make sure that your legs, you see how I have them wide? If you have them wide one in front of the other, it will be hard for your balance. So make sure that your legs are wide apart. Let's do it again. Inhale, roll to your left, reaching. You should feel it all the way on your right side. Exhale, reach to your side and come up. One more time. Okay, stay right here. Your left arm is gonna reach down towards the floor. You're gonna inhale, bring your right arm over your head, and you're gonna reach towards your left and down at the same time. You should feel a nice stretch on your right side. Inhale, exhale, let's switch. Place your left one in front, your right one is in the back. So you're gonna reach to your right side first. Inhale, reach. And go to the left and reach. Let's do it again. Inhale, reach to your right, reaching, reaching. Come over your head, reach to your left, come up. Two more times. One more time. Exhale, you're gonna stand up tall, shoulders back and down. Your right arm goes down, your left one comes up, reach down and towards your right side. Keeping your left arm in front, out above your head. And come up, good. Let's open our legs wider this time. Comfortable still. Now we are gonna do the same spinal Rotation, so inhale, exhale, roll it. So it's like the cow and cat, but in a standing position. So bend the knees, bring your elbow up, bring your chin up. Exhale, bring your chin in, roll up. Do it again. One more time. Now go down, grab your hands and press from your knees apart, pulling away from you. Sink your hip and roll one shoulder back to the center. So when your left shoulder goes down, your left arm pulls from, presses on the knee away from you. So you should feel it on your back, but also a nice adductor stretch. Inhale, exhale, four more. Four, three, two, and roll up. 
Okay, let's go ahead. We are gonna work in adduction from or activating your glute medius, and from there we are gonna go to an IT band stretch, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and bring your right leg out in an abduction with those toes pointing forward, and you're gonna cross it right in front of the other one, so your right one is facing in front of your left, and you lean into your right side, bringing that hip away from you. Bring it up, do it again. Pendulum, cross, reach. Let me do it this way so you guys don't get confused. Right leg, right leg crosses forward. You reach to your right side, really putting pressure, stretching your left hip. Do it again. Inhale, exhale, cross it, reach. Two more times. Just still up, seen. One more time. Now stay exactly where you are with your right leg across in front and you're gonna bend forward. Trying to keep both legs extended. Relax. If it's hard for you to relax, you can go ahead and place a yoga block or a pillow or something in front of you. But we wanna be relaxed with your shoulders heavy, your body weight even in both of your uh, feet. Now you're gonna walk your hands towards your left side, towards the front leg. Now walk your hands towards your right side, towards your back leg. Back to the center, bend the knees, roll up. Nice. Now we are going to do the same thing on our left one. Just toe, up, seen, pin along with your left, cross it in front, reach to your left. Do it again. Pin along, cross, reach to your left. Really thinking about pulling pressure on the side of your hip, reaching to your right side. Your hip reaches to your right. Your arms reaching to your left, back to the front. Do it again. Inhale, inhale, exhale. You have to do a left leg pendulum, guys. I think I'm doing, doing the opposite. Erase it. <laughs> left leg. Because that, oh, no, I got it good. I was right. I just got confused when I switched. <laughs> left leg crosses, reach. Two more times. Leg crosses, reach. One more time. Pendulum crosses, reach. Stay right there where you are. Bend forward. Breathe, relax your shoulders. Again, your body weighs evenly in the both legs. Your fingers are spread. Your shoulders are relaxed, you're breathing. Inhale, walk your hands towards your right side, towards your front leg. Try to keep both knees locked. Now walk your hands towards your left side, towards your back leg. Back to the center, bend the knees and roll up. Nice. Okay, let's get uh, on the floor now. You're gonna get in hands and knees. And we are gonna do similar similar uh, work on your back, but this time you're gonna be on hands and knees. So hands directly underneath your shoulder, knees directly underneath your hip, cow and cat and cow, chin in, belly in, tuck your pubic in, inhale, exhale, roll it the other way. Inhale, bring it in. Exhale, bring your tailbone and your chin up, your shoulders away from your ears. Four more times, four. Three. Two. 
one more time. Okay, stay right here. Roll your toes under. And then your body weight towards your heels, so stretching those toes. If that's too hard, put less body weight, whatever is comfortable for you. Go back. Now roll your toes the other way, flat on the floor. The top of your foot is flat. You sit on your heels. If this is too hard for your knees, go ahead and place a bunch of pillows between your back and your heels. If you can, bring your hands behind you and lift the legs up. If you can, you should feel a nice stretch in the front of your shins, front of your bottom leg and the top of your foot. Go back here, go in child pose. I did that to allow you to get in a deeper, deeper child pose position. So you're sitting on your heels and your arms are reaching forward. Breathe. Inhale, cross your left arm under your right one and reach with your left as far as you can, trying to keep your butt on your heels and trying to roll on the left shoulder. Back to the front and switch. Back to the front, go back in hands and knees. Knees, hip wise apart. This time, we are gonna add a rocking. So let's go first in cat. Bring your shoulders away from your ears, your chin in, you tuck your belly in. Inhale, exhale, go in a cow, stick your butt up, bring your chin up. Now get to neutral, rock your hips to one side. Lean in, rock your hips to the other side. Keep your hands there, knees exactly where they are. All you are doing is shifting that body weight, adding more stretch on the hip. The other side. Now go ahead and stay right there. Bring your arms as far forward as you can. Your hands reach as far as you can. So it's a different type of child pose. This is just to stretch more your upper body. So on your heels, your hip stays around knee level. And you bring your chest as far forward as you can. You should feel it more on your shoulders and your lats. Breathe. From there, cross again, your left arm under and roll on it while you keep reaching Forward with your right and your left one reaches to the side. Back to the center, reach, reach forward. Inhale, covering your right one now. Don't forget to keep reaching forward with one, away with the other one. So you wanna stay on your right shoulder. Back to the center. Back on hands and knees. This time roll your toes like we did before. Stretch those toes right there. And take your knees off the floor and get in triangle pose. Your arms are reaching forward. Your head goes under, trying to reach your knees. Reaching with your finger pins, fingertips forward, your, your, your toes are relaxed down and spread even. And you push one heel down and push the other one. Alternating inhale. If you cannot reach the floor, that's okay. But really focus on sinking those heels as low as you can towards the floor. Now keep both down if you can, or as low as you can hold it. Bringing your head towards your knees, your chest is pressing. 
arms on reaching forward, bend your knees and get back on the floor. From here, we are gonna cross your right leg in front of your left one. In a patient pose. Breathe. Sink on your hip, take it off the floor. So sink your right hip on the floor, take it off the floor. Keep rocking back and forth. Four, three, two, one more time. Bring it back in hands and knees. You are gonna do the cow, cat and cut again. Chin in, pull your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, exhale, rock your hip the other way. This is a very important for your hip mobility, for your, you know, we wanna create that tilting pelvic right here, bringing your belly towards your ribs. Inhale, exhale, now do the opposite. Bring your hips away from your ribs, tilting it out, externally. Two more times. Roll your tilt under again. Inhale, exhale, take your knees off the floor in triangle pose. Hopefully by now you feel a little more looser than the first time. Again, press your left heel, press your right heel. Inhale, exhale. Now trying to hold both down, keep your chest pressing towards your knees. Bend the knees, back down again. This time your left one stays in front, your right one goes back. Chest is tall, shoulders away from your ears. When you do the same thing, you rock your hips side to side. Okay, bring it back down and now let's get on our chest. Breathe, inhale, exhale, Shanto Cobra. Shoulders away from your ears. Do it again, bring it down. Inhale, exhale, chin up, bring it down. Open your arms, shoulder level, inhale. Exhale, lift your left leg, engage the left glute, and reach it towards the other side. So if it's your left leg, you reach to your right side. Scorpion. Bring it down, let's switch. Inhale, exhale, engage your right glutes, lift the leg, reach it to the opposite side. Don't force it. Just let's try to create a trunk mobility. And going back and forth, inhale, exhale, left leg goes up, reaches to your right. It's okay if you don't touch the floor, just try to stay relaxed and breathe. Switch. One more time, is what each side, inhale, engage your glutes. Exhale, reach to the side. Inhale, exhale, the other side. Back here to neutral. Inhale, exhale, bend the right knee and grab the right foot, touch the squats. If you can, take the knee off the floor. Let's switch. Inhale. 
Exhale, bring your left one. Bring it down. Now very gentle, turn on your back. We are gonna do the or Pilates roll-ups. So bring your arms over your head, inhale. Exhale, bring your chin in, roll slow up, bring your toes up to the ceiling and reach your toes. If you cannot reach your toes, go ahead and grab a belt. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Bend your right knee, bend your left knee. Make sure your ankles flex. Relax your shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale, let's roll out and slow. Bring it over your head. Inhale, arms shoulder level, chin in. Roll up slow, reach your toes. Bend your right, bend your left. Keep alternating. Pulling from the toes towards to you. Bring a neutral shoulders back and down. Roll and slow, activating your core. Again, inhale. Exhale, chin in. Roll one breath every time. This time, your left arm is gonna reach your right toe. Rotate to your right side. Switch. Left one reaches, your right one reaches your left. Rotate to your left. Back to neutral. Shoulders back and down. Roll slow again. One more time, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulder level. Roll up. Left arm goes to your right toe. Rotate to your right. Switch. Your right one goes to your left. Rotate to your left. Back to the center, roll up slow. Stay right here. We are gonna work on our pelvic retraction. Bend your knees, very gentle movement. All you're gonna do is tuck your pelvic in, pull it away, create a gap between your lumbar, your lower back, and your, the floor. Inhale, exhale, press belly button in, engage your core, and now it's no gap at all. Your lower back is glued to the floor. Let's do five more. Five. Bring it in. Four. Bring it in. Three. Two. One more time. Now tuck it in. Back is completely flat. Bring your knees off the floor. Wrap your hands. Wrap your arms around your knees and rock side to side. Trying to keep your shoulders and your head down on the floor. Relax them. Cross your right one on top of your left one. Bring your left leg up and grab it with your hands. Again, you try to keep your shoulders relaxed and trying to keep your head down on the floor. Now rock it to one side. Inhale, exhale, roll to the other side. Very gentle. Now you're gonna roll it and you're gonna hold it right here. So your top leg is touching the floor. You're gonna grab that right knee and you're gonna bring it towards your chest. Really stretching your lower back and glutes. Your left arm is gonna go down and try to reach the floor. Keep wrapping with your left arm, your right knee, the right, the leg is on the top, stretching towards your chest while you press your right shoulder down on the floor. You should feel a nice glutes and lower back stretch. Inhale, exhale, relax down your leg and bring it back to the center. Grab your knees again, wrap them, and this time I want you to think about 
pressing your knees towards your chest, relax them a little bit. Press it towards your chest, relax it. Bring your belly button in at the same time you bring your knees towards your chest. Trying to take the butt off the floor. Four, three, two, rest. Cross your left one on top of your right one now. Grab your right knee with your hands. Breathe. Feel in the hip and glutes stretch. As you start rocking very gentle side to side. Okay, this time you're gonna let the leg go all the way down on the floor. Your right arm is gonna wrap your left knee and press it towards your chest. And your left shoulder is gonna go down on the floor. Breathe. The closer you keep the knee to your chest, the deeper the stretch is going to be. Inhale, exhale, relax any a little. Press your hands against the floor and bring it back here. Now go ahead and take your hip off the floor, your butt off the floor and open up your hip to reverse that movement a little bit. Bring it back down. Inhale, grab your knees, exhale, roll up. Okay, let's do our last one. Bring salsa to fit together and bring your chest down towards the floor. Now go ahead and cross. Okay, two options. You put your right leg in front of your left one, which of course would be less pressure on your knees, but you can go ahead and place one on top of the other one. From here, you're gonna inhale, Exhale, bend forward. You should feel a little more on the right leg now. Walk your hands slowly. Bring your left leg on the left arm on the floor. Your right one comes up and reaches. Roll on the floor. All the way. And now reverse it. And back to the front. Last one, guys. Now, left one in front, or left one on top. Inhale in. Just tall and long. Exhale, bend forward. Walk your hands slowly up. Bring your right arm down on the floor. Your left one comes up and reaches. If you can go all the way to your elbow like I do, it's wonderful if you don't stay higher. Inhale, roll forward, big circle, and reverse it. So now your left one stays down and your right one come up. And you come up. Okay, give me a last deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Thank you guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. You're gonna record that, right? I did record and I'm gonna download it right now. That Excuse was me. an awesome one. Later. Yeah, that was 